What's up, y'all? Here's the PS Portal. I'm not going to talk too long. We're going to get inside this video after the break. All right, y'all. So, y'all, here is the PS Porter, y'all. Here it is. Y'all can see it in 4K, period. Looking at the box, y'all, it's very nice, y'all. Um, I, I like the box. It's just a, a nice box with Astro Body in front of it. Um, they did a very good job um, with the box. I really like that, the box, so much. Um, yeah, as y'all can see at the bottom, it shows PS5 required. I feel like some idiots are still going to get it without the PS5, but, hey, that's their loss. I guess they're going to have to end up selling it. Um, I'm just going to turn it around for you all. And um, let's go to the back. So the back of it is very nice. Um, you know, it shows Spider-Man on there. Um, it says put the PS5 in the palm of your hand, which is actually in the palm of your hands. Um, just Spanish, English crap. Not too much stuff to look at um, at all with this one. So, yeah, that's it for the back, y'all. Let's go and get this thing unboxed. Well... I'm just I'm sorry y'all the angle wasn't too good, but I had to you know put it down like this. But let me get my knife out. We're gonna try to open it up. You know, I'm gonna try not to mess the box up because I don't know about y'all, but I like to keep my boxes. I got a collection of PS5 stuff. So um y'all see that right there? We're gonna cut right there. Um let me get my knife and let's put it right there. Oh, and yeah, I don't scratch the box. Um, but let me just get this open, y'all. I, I I'll be right back with y'all because I don't wanna hold y'all up. So I'll be right back, okay? All right, y'all. So we got one side of it open. And y'all, Pan Station had really put this thing in here tight. I don't know why they would want to pack it like this. I mean, it was difficult to get out. Y'all see, I'm struggling. I got the, the knife, and it still was difficult. But I'm fighting with it, y'all. It's I'm fighting with it. I'm tussling with it, y'all. It's, it's, it's giving me battle. But, but I, I'm getting it, y'all. So, y'all... All right, so I got the other side open. I'm ready to take it out. Okay, there we go. All right, and y'all, the box is actually nice. Um, the gray box, nothing in there, so let's just throw it away. Now, I'm not sure why they got all these boxes. I mean, it's like a box after a box. Before you know it, it might not be nothing in this. That's what I was thinking. Um, but yeah, let's just go and take it out. Let's see, this is one box right here. We're gonna take that out like that. Nothing inside this box, I think. Yeah, nothing was inside this, so we're just gonna toss it to the side. All right. Now, y'all, well, let's get it open. Y'all see this little tab right here? Are you gonna stick your little finger in there? Uh, hopefully, all y'all fingers fit in, because I know some of y'all might have big fingers. If not, y'all got to use a knife. Um, from right here, they have, um, just on the USB cord in here, USB cord, nothing special. Just a USB cord, that's all. Um, a little, yeah, no charge to break, unfortunately, but just throw that to the side. Um, the boy, y'all, the moment y'all been waiting for, y'all, the PS Portal. There we go. So let's take this bad boy out. It's plastic. Ooh, it's kind of, it's kind of heavy. Ooh. Now, y'all, that PlayStation was Portal is nice. Holding it is so comfortable in the hands, y'all. It's not that heavy. The thumb stacks were, you know, thumb, thumb stacks, you know, felt the same. Just a little smaller burp nothing too usual the top of it you had a volume and the power button um as y'all can see the power button is on the left and the right is the volume um so let's go ahead and get ready to take the sticker stuff off it because i know that's what y'all ready for um the back of it it's nice just feel like it feel like a regular dual sense controller y'all nothing special at all nothing special all right let's take it off Ooh, excuse me y'all because i know i look crazy I don't have, I know I look crazy, y'all. I don't have no shirt on, so it ain't like I haven't seen nobody with a shirt on before. Um, but yeah, it, it's nice, y'all. It's black, nice and black. Um, the screen look nice. Yeah, just a, a regular screen. So I'm just showing y'all, you know, how it look. Um, it's like a nice glass. I would get a tempered glass for it because you don't want to break it. I um, mean, like it's easily to break, so. Make sure y'all get y'all a tip of glass. I ordered one off Amazon. All right, so nothing else can in this box. Um, just a little warranty paper, nothing special, nothing that's gonna blow my mind. 
you can just put everything back in there, close back up, and just keep it for a collection. Nothing else was in the box at all. Oh yeah, I wanna show y'all. Look at that little tab on the side. I thought that was neat. Oh, PlayStation uh, cool the little tab. It's still nothing special. It's gonna make me, wow. But, you know, I just wanna show y'all that. All right, let's get it set up, y'all. So right now I'm sitting on the internet, y'all, to this PlayStation portal. And now it's updating. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This thing is gonna update a lot. Like, doing it, it took about three updates, I believe. I'm like, how long is gonna update? So look at it, it's just taking a little long. Um, yeah, in the meantime, look at the back of it again. I put a case on it. As y'all can see, I got that case off Amazon for $20. I'm not cracking this thing, because this thing's $200. It may not seem like a lot to y'all, but it's a lot to me. Okay, another update, y'all. So, we're just gonna let that update for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna skip it, y'all, so I'll be right back with y'all after this thing updates. All right, so we're getting in, y'all. We're almost there. We is almost there. So, the little PlayStation logo um up here and up here um just yeah all right it's low and then i think it's another update after this i'm not gonna even cap i think it's another update after this yeah i told y'all now it's updating the controller so y'all give it like a 30 a good 30 minutes because it's going to update a lot um so yeah just be patient with it all right, so we're getting ready to pair it with the PS5. So you're just gonna hit connect right there. You're gonna select your PS5. As y'all can see, my PS5 appeared. All right. Okay, you're just gonna verify that you can connect with your PS5. Um, I would prefer you you all have an ethernet cord hooked up because uh, to your PlayStation 5, because I made a mistake. Um, I was doing it, playing it without um, an ethernet cord, just Wi-Fi, and the connection was a little bit slow. Um, so. Just play it with an ethernet cord. Y'all hook an ethernet cord up to your PlayStation and y'all get the best results. All right, so we are in. So we're gonna go, go in. That joker know it's nice, y'all. I know it don't look that good like over the camera, but see it in person, Woo. All right, so we're just pair with my PS5. Again, y'all make sure y'all use the ethernet cord because if not, it's gonna be a little slow and laggy. I'm telling y'all, cause I thought something was wrong with my thing. I was getting ready to send it back, but I looked online and it said use the ethernet cord and it, the the, the the it just boosted it it was perfect so use the ethernet cord instead of straight wi-fi all right so we're getting ready to pair it soon we're getting ready to pair it soon y'all it's still taking this time but it should be instant there we go there we go now y'all look it is very nice it look just like it's just my playstation screen into a smaller version nothing different i mean just and it comes in handy, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I enjoy um, doing this in my hand in my bed when I have to get up. It's the same settings that's on your PlayStation. I don't have to, you know, go to the, I don't have to be sitting in a chair if I don't want to in front of no big TV. I'm right in my bed, as y'all can see. Um, some of the settings right here. Um, yeah. So for the notifications, so you have the panel notifications, the main panel. So, you know, you had a PS headset when you get it, the brightness, airplane mode, settings. Um, if you click on that, it takes you to the network settings on here. Um, you have your system settings, just your display, um, brightness and controller. That's all they have, nothing special, nothing. It's just the same thing as your PS5. Like I said, just smaller. So let's get into some gameplay, y'all, because I want to show y'all how good this thing play. Um, like I said, it's, just, it's the same thing, just a smaller, just a smaller tablet in your hand. It's worth it to me. Um, so yeah, let's just give it some time to load. Yeah, look at it. It's, look at it, y'all. Y'all can't, yeah, I, I'm not lying to y'all. It's very nice. Um, excuse me, y'all. But yeah, we're just gonna watch it, y'all. It's, 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 it's very nice. Again, it's gonna lag a little bit. You may notice it. That's because when I was playing this, I don't think I had the Ethernet cord hooked up. But you know, once I had the Ethernet cord hooked up, I was in, baby. I was in. And, and you couldn't stop me. I, I love playing the game in my hand. I love it. So just look at it, y'all. Look. Look how smooth it play. I don't have any issues with it so far. It was it was fun experience playing this, y'all. Uh, everything look good and okay y'all and look just just look how beautiful it is y'all yeah y'all, it's very beautiful i would suggest you get it if you if you can get it. i know it's it's hard to get but it's beautiful 
Um, it's worth it, y'all. It's, it's very worth it. The side of it is nice. Just the angle of it is very nice. Um, PlayStation did a really good job on it. You know, getting inside of it is very, very nice. I don't have anything negative at all to say about it. Period. And y'all, another game I played is SpongeBob. Y'all love SpongeBob, so don't judge me. And look at the colors. I just want to show you all this because of the colors. It got a good color scheme on this device. Um, for something that's 1080p and not 4K, the colors is phenomenal. It's exceptional. Did I say it right? Exceptional? I don't think I said that right, but it's not over. Well. But y'all, look at the colors. It's, 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 it's amazing to have. It's amazing to be able to play the game in my bed and just don't have to worry about sitting in front of this big TV all day long playing it. Um, if I'm on break, I can play it. Um, again, look how smooth it is. I had my Ethernet cord in and it was just running smooth. I don't, I didn't have any issues with it or Wi-Fi issues. I can't wait to test it out, y'all, you know, like over like out for my house. I haven't had a chance to yet, but that's one thing I'm definitely going to do. One thing I hated, y'all, is the media. You can't look at any media things on here. Um, it's going to block it. Like, for instance, if I want to go to Netflix or something, I got to download it, but I couldn't do that. But if I want to listen to my music, because I think I tried Apple Music, y'all see. Um, I'm going to try Apple Music, and um, it's just not going to work. It's going to tell me something about, um, yeah, I can't display the screen on it because connect console the screen co contains content that can't be displayed so yeah oh and the touch screen y'all there's no touch pad on here you have to do it on a um actual tablet itself you know how i would do it since have the main um keypad you got to do it on the screen which is not nothing different but yeah look at it y'all okay i can't lie to y'all it's a good investment it's a great investment I, it, it, I can't make this up. I can't lie. I can't fake it to you. $200 will get you this. As y'all can see, I'm playing this exact same thing that's on my TV. It don't lag or anything. Look at it, y'all. Just look. 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 Please look. I can't make this up. It's a great investment. I'm playing it for my... It's the, I'm playing it for my... Uh, I'm doing a lot of remote play. And it's not lagging at all. When I turn, look at my TV. It turn. It don't lag or anything. Look at the colors for a 4K TV. Look at the colors of that. It look 4K. The thing look 4K. I can't make it up. It's a great investment, y'all. It's a great investment. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It's a great investment. No lag at all. So y'all, that's. I'm gonna conclude this video, y'all. If y'all, you know, didn't get it, hopefully y'all can get it because I know it's hard to get it. I'm gonna give y'all a little hint. Stay up till like three o'clock in the morning. That's when they drop these devices. Um, but yeah. Um, you know, make sure you have it connected to Ethernet. Your place is connected to Ethernet to get the best. If not, it's going to lag some. Um, not too bad to you can't play. It depends on your Wi-Fi, but I would prefer, you know, you hook your Ethernet cord up to the PlayStation to get a stronger signal. Um, yeah, I don't have anything wrong with speed. It feels just like the PlayStation DualSense. Um, the haptic feedback is phenomenal. Um, I feel like the vibrations in it, just like the, the regular controller. So... I mean, it's not nothing different. You're just playing it from your bed. It's in a smaller tablet form that looks 4K when it's not. Um, so yeah, that's, I'm gonna conclude this video, y'all. Again, the thing started $199 plus tax, I would say like $213. Um, I, you can get it from Best Buy, Target. I scoped mine from Best Buy and um, I had got it around 3 o'clock in the morning, Eastern time. So make sure y'all try to step late because that's when you can get them because if you do it during the daytime, it's, it's not going to work properly. I mean, if you do it in the daytime, it's going to sell out quick. So stay up late. Hopefully you all can get it, you know, before Christmas. And if not, yeah, 